Snake is a game I never really thought could be improved upon or innovated. Stormwind Plus breaks that notion. Released on May 21st, 2016, Stormwind Plus promises to be a fast-paced, reflex-driven arcade game, and it lives up to that promise. The premise is simple. You are a cube, and you eat other cubes to get more points. As you get more points and eat more cubes, your worm becomes bigger and you move a little faster. You must rack up as many points as possible without running into your own body, because if you do, it is game over. You must be careful as one wrong move can send you into yourself. Amazingly, this little cube can jump, which creates some awesome moments, ducking and weaving within your own worm chain. When the chain becomes too long, it's time to grab a power-up like the Splitter, which destroys half of your worm without getting rid of any of the points. The controls in Stormworm Plus are spot on. You can use the keyboard or the mouse or a controller. I personally stuck with the mouse as it was the simplest and easiest for me. You can click on the left mouse button to move left and the right to move right. The mouse wheel is the aforementioned jump. In a game like Stormworm, it is important that the controls are impeccable and without flaw. Luckily they are. Every time you die, it is due to your reflexes not being fast enough, not because you sent your worm into nowhere to land due to the controls. While this is a simple concept, the developers at Afrobeast tried to change things up with four different game modes, including the standard mode, which I described earlier, a time attack mode, where the clock is constantly ticking you down while you try to get your score up, and a few others. While the different options are nice, I couldn't help but feel like there should be more. What Stormwarden Plus absolutely hits on the head though is the presentation. The graphics are simple yet pretty, and the music has an awesome beat that makes you want to keep playing. While Stormwind Plus is a simple game, it gets a lot of things right. The gameplay is fun, and the presentation is spot on. The only thing I wish that they would have added is a few more game modes and maps. Honestly though, this one is definitely worth a go. This has been Andrew Holmes for Ubercrit.com, and I will see you next time.